नमस्ते एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल संस्कार माई निशिता आई होप कि आप लोग एकदम स्वस्थ मस्त और तंदुरुस्त होंगे सो so, जब भी हम अपनी योगा जर्नी स्टार्ट करते हैं आसना प्रैक्टिस की तो आई एम श्योर मेरे जैसे बहुत लोग होंगे जो कुछ आसना को टारगेट बना के रखते हैं कि यार ये अचीव कर लेना तो बस मज़ा ही आ जाएगा और उसमें से मेरे कुछ आसना कौ थे काकासन बकासन शीर्षासन तो उन्हीं में से आज हम एक आसन को डी करने वाले हैं काकासन और मैंने अपनी जर्नी में रियलाइज़ किया है कि सिर्फ आसना को बार बार प्रैक्टिस करने से आसना नहीं आएगा यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द एनाटमी क्या मसल्स रिक्वायर्ड है किस में स्ट्रेंथ और किस में फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी चाहिए क्या ऐसी ड्रिल्स है जिससे वो स्ट्रेंथ और फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी आ सकती है ताकि हमारा आसना एकदम करेक्ट टेक्निक से हो ज़्यादा देर तक होल्ड कर सके हो और लॉन्ग रन में कोई इंजरी ना हो सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम लेट्स डाइव इन Let's learn the anatomy of Bakas and the crow pose. The deltoids and the triceps stabilize and supports the arm as they bear the body's weight. The core muscle, particularly the rectus abdominis and transverse abdominis, engages to lift the hip and keep the torso balanced. The adductors, that is the inner thigh muscle and the hip flexors, helps to squeeze the knee towards the arm the wrist flexor stabilizes the hands and the wrist while the rectus spinae muscles along the spine supports the posture and prevents the torso from collapsing so before we get into the asana we are going to do some drills that is going to prepare our body for the asana so let's go we are going to start off by being in the tabletop position your shoulders and your wrist are in one line now from here what we are going to do is we are going to warm up our wrist so we are going to cross our ankles and then we are going to get the shoulders ahead head of the wrist and we are going to stay here for 6 breaths now keep breathing don't hold your breath this is for preparing your wrist for the asana let's go 2 3 4 5 and 6 slowly slowly come back if you feel there's too much pressure don't go way ahead you can be somewhere getting the shoulders and wrist aligned or maybe little ahead based on your comfort level Now from here we are going to get the fingers facing towards the knee. Now what we'll do is we are going to gently try to sit without lifting the palms up and stay here for 6. Let's go. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. and six slowly come up and then get the palms up now if you have over extension so you're going to keep a slight bend in the elbow now from here we are going to get the palms facing the ceiling hands forward and we are going to just open up the fingers we are going to close open and close open and close and we'll try to do it little faster to pump up those four arms let's go one two Three, four, two more breaths. Five and six. Get the palm facing the floor, and we are going to do the same. Let's go. One, two. Let's go. Keep going. Three, four, two more breaths. Five and six. So one thing you have to keep in mind is. When we try to do an asana it is very important you do the basic drills and open up the muscles that are required. You will never get an asana by just doing the asana itself. You need to prepare your body for it. And that's why these drills are very very important. Now from here what we'll do is we are going to get into a knuckle plank. So you are going to close the fist and the knuckles are facing each other. Now from here we are going to push the spine towards the ceiling so a slight hunch we are going to get the right leg back left leg back and let's go so we need to activate our core that is going to help us stay in the asana let's go so we are going to stay here for 6 breaths 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 6 so i am showing you all the drills for 6 seconds but you can hold them for at least 8 to 12 seconds and maybe do two rounds or if you feel you need you can go for three rounds also now from here we are going to get into vashishta asana or the side plank so 
first let's get into a plank now from here get the left hand in the center we are going to twist get the toes on top raise the right hand up look towards the right hand hold for 6 let's go 1 2 3 4 and 6 very gently without much movement we are going to just shift switch the sides and let's hold for again 6 breaths 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so ideally i would recommend you to hold for at least 8 to 12 breaths activate our core so we are going to get into now asana that's a beautiful asana for our core engagement so from here we are going to just straighten up the legs straighten the hands and hold i know this is a core burner you can use this asana as a core burner also Let's go include this in your core routine. Let's go 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 8 yes. Now if you see the asana we get the heel closer to the sit bones. We need the legs. So we need a flexible quad and we contract the hamstring so for that we are going to do dead bug so from here what you'll do is you're going to cross the ankle now my right ankle right leg is down so i will get it closer and i'm going to get the heel closer to my sit bones i'm going to point my toe and i'm going to push in a hunch and i'm going to stay here so what we want is the thigh closer to the chest the heel closer to the sit bone and a hunch and we are going to stay here Let's hold for 6 1 2 3 Don't forget to smile. 4 5 and 6. We are just going to switch. Let's go. 1 2 3 4 5 and 6. Now let's learn the basic of pakasana. So for that we are going to sit in malasan. Now from here just place the arm down comfortably. So you don't have to place it too far or too near where it should be comfortable. Now one basic mistake that most of us do is हम लोग बहुत जल्दी करते हैं आसन में जाने के लिए द आइडिया इज नॉट जस्ट टू गेट इन टू द आसना द आइडिया इज टू अंडरस्टैंड द आसना नाउ फ्रॉम मे वॉट हैपन्स इज आई जस्ट टेल यू द कॉमन मिस्टेक हम लोग क्या करते हैं हम लोग यहाँ से बस वी ट्राई टू लिफ्ट द लेग दिस इज हाउ वी डू सो इंस्टेड ऑफ गोइंग फॉरवर्ड और ट्रेवलिंग अ हेड वी गो डाउन सो वॉट वी डू इज सी माई इंटायर फोकस इज ऑन जस्ट लिफ्टिंग द लेग सो आई एम जस्ट गोइंग डाउन लाइक दिस सो इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट द आइडिया इज टू ट्रेवल अ हेड सो यू आर गोइंग इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन So you're going ahead. So from here, I'll just keep my palms down comfortably. I'm going to lock. So as and when you come forward, you're going to slightly bend the elbow. You're going to lock here inside of the leg. So behind the knee. Now from here, I'm going to place my palm comfortably. You should feel all the fingers on the floor. Now from here, the idea is to go ahead. Now I'm see my entire feet is on the floor. Now I'm going to lift up my hip up. and i'm going to travel forward and now i'll get one foot off the floor and then other foot off the floor the idea is to travel forward now if you're a beginner and this is too tough what we are going to do is traveling ahead is very important you need to travel forward so for that we are going to keep a block i'm going to place it ahead of me so that i know i have to travel and get my head on it so i'm going to place my hands comfortably i'm going to get lift up my hip i'm going to get on my toes and i'm going to travel and i'm going to get my head down and i'm going to just lift one leg and then other leg now point and this is very important pulling the leg up and then slowly slowly get down now once you feel you get comfortable with it you can remove one block you can use two pillows you can use the blocks whatever you are comfortable with and then we are going to again to the same thing comfortably place the hand lift the hip up come on the ankle go forward and then place your head down and pulling the feet 
strongly now slowly slowly come down you can remove after practice you can just keep the palms down lift the hip up one feet off other feet off and you can get into bak asana now few points to keep in mind first of all keep your palm not to away or not to close to your body it should be in a comfortable distance secondly don't try to just lift the legs up that should not be the aim try to go forward when you practice the asana try to fall forward instead of falling back if you're falling back that means you're not going forward enough so you need to travel forward now keep looking ahead instead of getting the neck down keep looking ahead so that you can travel forward and that's how you're going to gain balance now next thing you need to remember is you need to pull the feet very strongly towards the sit bones if you keep it loose you'll see the legs are wide they are not close enough and then you'll tend to fall back so you need to pull the leg pull the feet strongly closer to the glutes thank you for watching my video i hope you learned something new in this video and if you did then please like share comment and subscribe to my channel मैं अपने YouTube चैनल में ऐसे ही कॉम्प्लेक्स आसना को इजी ब्रेक डाउन करती हूँ और कुछ ऐसी कॉमन डिजीजेज जिसके सोल्यूशन योगा और आयुर्वेदा में छुपा है मैं इसी टाइप की वीडियोस अपने चैनल पर डालती हूँ सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब और हाँ अगर आप एक न्यू योगा टीचर हैं जिसको अपने करियर में आगे कैसे एडवांस किया जाए कोई क्लू नहीं है देन डोंट फॉरगेट टू फॉलो आरोग्यम योगा एंड वेलनेस बाई सप्त शिखा Also, if you are interested in becoming a yoga teacher, so we have our online TTC. Please call on this number for more details. मिलते हैं next video में तब तक के लिए नमस्ते.